sorry, I, I uh, killed the screen there a little bit earlier. We have to specify the uh, region again. So we'll just say um, US East 1 because it needs to know where to take those, uh, take those operations. And so it says you can apply this plan. Did I not? Did I not? Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry, I guess I hit up. I really shouldn't have done that. So we'll try this again. So we'll say Terraform, apply, uh, auto approve. I hit up on my arrow and it was going to an old one, which was uh, bad on me here. So we'll try that. And so we have an error here. The image ID does not exist. The image ID does not exist. And it's showing the uh, same one here. This is my east server. And this one is my west server. So that's kind of interesting because that should be right. Again, I don't know if it's because we're doing that weird alias. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this here and give us back our default provider. And I'm going to try that again and see if that resolves our issue. Again, we're using a data source, so there's no reason it should not be able to find it because it's it's pulling it based on the, uh, the uh, alias there, right? Eh? Unless I don't understand how data sources work and I have to set the provider for it as well. But it looks like it's working, so I'll see you here in a bit unless we have an error, okay? All right, so we gave it another go and we're getting this error again, but I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to try to figure this out because it's looking for Amazon 2 AMI HVM. And you know, if we are in uh, AWS here, we should be able to figure it out. Like this one's the HVM up here. So that's what it's pretty much selecting. So we should be able to go to one of those regions and just confirm what it is we're looking at. So this one here is for West. It didn't complain about east, but maybe it didn't ever got to east. It just ran west first and it complained. But here it says that it completed the creation of it. So let's go first check out if that instance actually exists. I assume that uh, it does not, but maybe it does. Whoops. And so we have our east server and that one worked out fine. And then if we go over to our West server here, it doesn't exist. So that's a bit curious to me. Um, I'm just gonna check to see if that, uh, that uh, AMI actually exists in the Oregon region. I, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't. It's right here, AMI 0C2D. And we look at this and it doesn't say that. It has uh, something that says 00DFE. So what I want to do is scroll up here and look at my plan and see what it did. So for West, it's using 00DFE, that's fine. And then for East, it's using the exact same thing. So maybe it's my own mistake here. Let's just go double check here. Um, no, it looks correct. So I guess I'll do a little bit more investiga investigation. I'll be back here in a second, okay? All right, so I'm not sure why this isn't working as expected because um, as I read, the data source is supposed to be agnostic. It shouldn't matter uh, where it's coming from here. And it should uh, take into account the uh, provider here. The only thing I saw that somebody was doing different was doing interpolation around here. So maybe we'll give that a go and see if that makes a difference. I don't see why that would matter, but uh, we're just grasping at stuff here. Okay. And we'll just try this one more time and see if that actually succeeds, okay? I think we might have to enter uh, where we want that. Maybe not because we provided the default provider there. Okay, and it still has this problem, all right. So, I mean, I don't feel like I should have to do this, but I'm gonna do this anyway to see if it resolves the issue. What I'm gonna do is just copy this and make a second one. And let's see if that resolves the issue because these are supposed to be looking uh, in that particular area where that resource is. And I, just to double check here, we have uh, USC's two here. You know what I'm curious about? I wonder if it's just using the data source for the provider. So 
I'm just going to undo that for a second. And what I'm going to say here is I'm going to set the uh, default to be US East 1. And we will try this again. And let's see if East and West fails, because that would be very interesting if that happened, eh? And we could probably just figure it out by looking at the uh, plan file. So here that is changing. And so what I'm going to do is just scroll all the way to the top here. And I want to see what it's going to be set as, if it's still the same value or it's a different value. Um, and I can't really tell. I guess we'll just have to wait for that to provision. So I'll, I'll see you back here in a bit. All right, so after a little bit of digging, I looked at the actual uh, sources here. and says for selecting a non-default provider configuration, you use the provider option. So, you know, a lot of people were saying that they're agnostic and that's how I thought they worked, but I guess you do have to specify the provider. So I suppose we will just have to duplicate this twice. All right, so that was kind of an interesting investigation, something we can uh, try to remember for later. So this would be East and this would be West. And so I'll just have to specify the provider here and we'll just say AWS West. And then for this one, we'll say AWS East. And then we'll scroll down below. And so I don't think we need the interpolation here. Oh, we'll leave it in, it's not a big deal. Um, where did we put the name? Well, oh, right in front of it, okay, great. So we'll do East here. We will do West here. Try this again, west here. Oops, that's the east one. And then there's the west one here. Okay, great. And so we'll try this again. And so I think this time we're gonna get what we want. So, I mean, that's really interesting that if you don't provide a provider, you have to choose um, an operation uh, for it to happen. And um, it's great to know that uh, you, know, you have to set providers for data sources, but you know, you learn these things pretty quick because when you get into practical applications, you start uh, intersecting with those things. But I'll see you back here in a moment when this is successful, okay? All right, great. So it says those have been provisioned. So what I'm gonna do is pull up AWS here and we are going to make our way over to here. And I'm going to go over to US West 1, I think we set it to. I can't remember. And so we should have an instance there. Great. And we'll make our way over to US East 2. And we have our server there. Great. So that's all we wanted to learn here. So I'm going to go ahead and just tear this down. So we'll say, Terraform, apply, destroy, auto approve. And we are good to go. See that it runs here for a little bit and then I'm just going to stop here. Great, and I will see you in the next follow along. All right, so uh, we're gonna learn all about alias. And so what I'm going to do is create a new file here in our next folder, main.tf. I'm gonna make sure I'm in that correct directory 053 is what I have right now. It might be different for you later on in the course. And so what I want to do is go to my uh, anything like maybe count here and grab this one because I'm just going to update this EC2 instance for our alias. And we're actually going to have two instances. Okay, we're going to have uh, an east and a west. So I'm going to say east and west. And I'm just going to change this here to my server my west server, my east server. And what we can do here is just bring this down. And the whole point of this tutorial is to show you about aliases. So here we can go alias and we'll call this east. And we'll have, I don't know if we can do this, but I'm gonna try anyway, I actually never tried. But I wonder if we can have a, um, like a provider that has no default, like where it does not have an alias because I think that'd be a really great way to be very explicit. So here we have our instance. I want this to be the East server. And then I want to have a West server.
And then for our server name, this will be server east. And for this one, it'll be server west. And so then we'll add in our provider and this will be AWS West. And then for this one, it'll be AWS East. The only thing here is the AMI is not gonna be any good to us. So what we can do is go grab some code. So here, uh, this is like HashiCorp supports Terraform 2, Amazon Linux 2. And so here's the code that we need to pull that. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and uh, grab this AWS AMI here. Okay, and I'm just going to paste this above our instance here. And so that should grab that, uh, that instance. We're gonna need the name. So I'm gonna go down here, just paste this line here and we'll just modify it. So it's AWS, Amazon Linux 2. It has to start with data because it's a data source. Oops, we don't wanna change our instance type. That's a mistake. We want to uh, do that for the AMI here. Okay, and we'll go down and replace it for both because we both want them on Amazon Linux too, but this way it'll pull the correct AMI. So we have server east, server west. We have the east and west public IP. So it generally looks good. Um, I don't know if this is gonna error out, but I guess we will find out. So as always, we'll do a Terraform init. All right, and so now that Terraform init is done, we are going to do a Terraform plan uh, and see if that works. And so notice it says the region where AWS operations will take place. So um, I guess what we'll do is set it as US East 1 because we have two resources set, um, provider AWS region, because we set the provider explicitly in both. I'm kind of curious what would happen because it's saying US East 1 and US East 2 and that's something I didn't specify. Um, what I want to do is I just want to be even more particular and set one provider that is totally, and by the way, this is supposed to be West, that's a mistake. I'm just going to set it to something uh, that I know is very different, okay? So instead of East and West, we'll just change this a little bit. So how about we'll do US West 1 and then US East 2, which is a little bit different. And we'll do that because I want to see what it prompts. So we'll just say US East 1 here. And so the arguments owners is required, but no definition was found in our data source, which I'm kind of surprised because we copied that straight from um, HashiCorp. So maybe it's just an old article or maybe I did not copy that particular line. So it should say who the owner is. Yeah, see so we're like owner alias, but that's fine. We can just look it up here because here it says owners and we can just specify that as Amazon. It's not a big deal. The real challenge to Terraform is just dealing with the, the changes, it's, but I mean like it's pretty, pretty powerful system. So you just get kind of used to it. So I'm just going to try to fix that indentation. I don't know if we need that owner alias there if we have uh, owners up here. But we'll try this anyway and see what happens. Okay. I mean, the major regions for North America is either uh, US East 1 or US West 2, so that kind of makes sense. Uh, incorrect attribute value type. So we have AWS instance US West data dot AWS AMI is an object with a, a multiple attributes. So I think the thing is, is that we just had to specify its ID because that's actually returning the AMI and it's just not gonna infer it. So that's just my mistake as per usual. So we'll just go there and place in the ID. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just take a look here and see if it's going to provision the right place. So this looks all good. Um, so let's just go ahead and pull the trigger and see how it goes.